Johnny here. Uh, I never intended for this video to happen, but uh, as I was making my previous videos, I found some snippets of my time on a 2019 BMW R90 that I sold last year. And uh, I was like, why not make a quick first impression video about it then? So, okay. Now, my time on the bike was really short, like eight minutes max, from my friend's dealership to the port area. And basically that was it. Um, you know, but it did give me a general idea of what the R90 was all about. Now, I did mention my friend's dealership. That is because he runs a pre-owned car and motorcycle shop. And I happened to be doing some side work for him as his motorcycle sales specialist. Anyway, I sold the bike to another friend who is in Manila. Arranged shipping with a courier and had to bring it to the port to be loaded into a container van. For the record, this is not my first time on a BMW since I used to work for BMW, as a salesman of course, joined riding camps, and uh, me and my dad also bought and sold older BMWs, and of course not to mention the 2019 GS 1200 Adventure that we have in the garage, which is for sale by the way. But this, or should I say this, was my first time on the R90. Before we get started, uh, just a quick spec overview of the R90. It's 1200cc, air and oil cooled, boxer twin, 6 speed manual transmission, shaft drive, producing 110 horsepower, 80 newton meter torque, and it weighs at 210 kilograms. It is a neo retro modern classic roadster, naked cafe racer, muscle bike standard, whatever you call it. It is a motorcycle that looks cool. You no, know, looks really cool. You know, look at it. For reference, I'm six foot one. I weigh 100 kilograms currently, and I can flat foot both feet on the ground while on the R90. Okay, on the looks department, well, you can tell that it is definitely a retro bike. It looks fast, even on standstill. It looks big with those coffee can cylinder heads jutting out of the side and um, also that large gas tank on top. Well, you might think it is heavy. Well, it is, but reasonably manageable for a guy my size. Once you get on it, though, it feels tiny. You know, um, the low slung moto style bars, they're really low. And you got yourself the rear set style foot pegs definitely makes you cramped up therefore making it feel a lot smaller also and uh, this kind of riding position is a bit aggressive making you lean forward a bit giving you that really aggressive stance obviously not comfortable for extended rides for a guy my size and I have a lower back problem so the in terms of ergonomics you know, this is not for me the seat is firm and comfy though. Power delivery is well torquey but predictable and smooth. And you know, uh, releasing the clutch and putting it in the friction zone allows you to creep forward without any throttle input at all. And uh, allowing you to put your feet on the pegs as well. This is perfect. No, I really like it. You know, I like this part of the R90 because, uh, you know, with the low RPM, you know, torque advantage, you know, it's easy to maneuver in traffic. And just like all BMW Boxer Twins, they're smooth, torquey at, you know, at that RPM range. Mid-range is basically where the fun part is. You know, take a look at this. system Akrapovic is music. Unfortunately there's not enough roads to go up higher in speeds though but you get the idea. Handling has always been a hallmark for BMW and the R90 is no exception. This bike handles really well in city traffic you know weaving through cars at speeds is pretty fun. Um, fortunately no high speed lean down cornering for me because uh, I was in the city and there's no point in doing that and uh, it's not even you know properly geared for the occasion 
but obviously the R90 can do that given the ergonomics and generous corner clearance. Brakes, no question. You know, they're, you know, Brembo, of course, and you can't get anything better that comes stock on a motorcycle. Plus, you get ABS, so you are guaranteed to stop or slow down at any speed. Now, eight minutes is a short time to tell you. Honestly, it's really short. But at least, you know, I got to get an, a general idea of what the R90 is. And um, there's one thing that really stands out about the R90. You know, among all the other BMWs that I've ridden, the R90 is old school. It has character. You know, just look at it. You know, it's aggressive, looks refined. You can ride it to a date. You can go carve the, you know, carve some mountain roads on it. Uh, from the looks of it, you know, you can see it already. And uh, of course, the classic uh, air and oil cooled boxer twin with the signature, you know, side shake once you turn it on or once you rev it. You know, it re once you rev it, it moves to the side, it shakes to the side. You know, that feels really powerful. And uh, because of that, you know, uh, that's what makes the R90, for me, in my opinion, a beautiful motorcycle. Honestly, this is how a BMW should look like. You know, this reminds me of the BMW R100S, the 1979 model. We had one before. And also a 99 uh, R1100GS, which you know, also had the same characteristics. The new Boxer Twins on the GS1200, 1250, which are liquid-cooled already, they may be faster, yeah, they're really powerful, but honestly, they have no personality, and uh, that's all I can say about those. So in general, you know, the R90 is a really fun bike. You know, I would really recommend this to anyone looking for a retro, neo-retro style motorcycle, and, uh, Something that you can tinker around with, with the looks department. Something that you can use on the weekends or probably even on a daily basis if you are, you know, that capable. Now, these are just my two cents. You know, I would highly recommend that you go to the nearest BMW dealership or ask anybody who has one if you can take it out for a spin. You know, see for yourself if you like it good it might be the bike for you if you don't like it there are many choices out there anyway if you're considering a bmw r90 i hope you find this very insightful and if you do you know give this video a big dirty thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it helps a lot and uh, if you're looking for a pre-owned bmw r90 you know we have a scrambler available here it's a 2019 with 2000 kilometers you know Feel free to contact me in social media. I have my links below uh, for Facebook and Instagram. And as always, you know, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.